the standard that College Rugby was real good, it was amazing they were able to adapt a week that I do my normal weeks now for Chiefs, I was like, it was kind of adapted at Exeter College, so it was amazing to go from one week like training here now and I look back and the weeks are not far off exactly the same. We went from like anaerobic games on a Monday to then obviously playing on a Wednesday, so it's adapted a bit differently, but the standard was amazing. Some of the lads uh, I ended up playing against in the Ace League, they, they were top notch, and some of them are now uh, pushing on and doing what I'm doing. Some are doing even better, some of them are nearly at the England squad. So it's, it's amazing the standard that uh, that Ace League produces. And to be able to go from those constant games, just kind of getting that, that kind of uh, the feeling of playing a game week in week out having that same week trying to prep to that game we had an unbelievable amount of footage on the teams that we were playing so it's, it's literally exactly like a premiership week it's, it's amazing there was a lot of physical detail i had to come through coming through the college setup so uh, my gym instructor was sati back in the day joe sat and he was real pushing us to just become the best we could be, constantly doing testing. He was just monitoring us, making sure that we were become like the biggest, strongest people we could. And then uh, the detail around the games, uh, Rob Gibson and Sam Morton were both my coaches when I was doing that, and Glenn Channon, they were all able to help me become a better player. So I'll be working uh, with Glenn doing all the like, passing, uh, like bits around, just like tuning those little fine details. And then with uh, Rob Gibson, we were uh, looking at scrums, kind of looking at uh, people that are at the top of their game now. So we were looking at like Owen and Ben Franks, just looking at those guys that, that were doing real well back when I was when I was a little bit younger going through that. So and then, uh, then with Sam, we would actually do more like the scrummage and technique stuff. I'd be in the gym with him doing bits like that. It was amazing how that I've kind of took that through with me now and I, I saw it uh, today. So it's amazing that I can bring it up with me and it's still, like you see the first team players doing it. So I was able to do it at such a young age. Some of them have only just started doing it. So when I'm their age, hopefully I'll have so many more years, more experience of doing those little things that I do with Sam, Gibbo and Glenn that now I'll be able to push on. Uh, so now that it just becomes natural to me and I'm able to carry on and use it in a game, and it really helps. I would agree that uh, Exeter College was one of the best experiences rugby-wise I've had. I think it's just amazing that we're able to play week in, week out playing rugby, uh, be able to spend it with the lads. Like you, we used to wake up real early, do the gym session in the morning, but everyone used to dig in. And then when it got to the end of the season, we'd be playing like anaerobic games. So that's pretty much like fun games, and we'd be doing it at the end end of the session. Everyone working and working hard out in the sun, throwing a ball around. It was it's, it was amazing. And the the lads, like it's such a big group of lads. It's so many good like new people you meet and it's it, it's an amazing experience. Balancing rugby and academic was was amazing. I uh, my tutor was John Fabian and he was he was amazing at being able to link me with real worked hard with my academic stuff. I'm I'm dyslexic so I struggle with with like writing assignments and he was able to like film me and I was able to talk through my assignments and just just making those things just a little bit easier so I was able to just to push on through that part and I didn't have to worry about education because when, when you're worried about your education trying to do your rugby they will they will stop you from doing your rugby because education is as important but but it's it's easy when you have the people there to help you and all the teachers I had were, were amazing they were able to help me through that and I was able to push on my rugby I didn't have to worry about the education because I could just real push on my rugby and it was nice to have to do the education at the same time because sometimes you feel a little bit stressed with rugby and that and you just want to take your mind off it and you can just go and do a little bit of work and that's it's easy to take your mind off it by doing the work like I still do a bit of work now just to keep my mind off, off of rugby sometimes because it can be stressful sometimes when you're injured and stuff like that so to have that college there uh, exit college there to help me doing doing bits now I, was, I do the apprenticeship at the moment so I'm still sticking around so I'm gonna enjoy it. It was amazing how the stuff I've learnt from Exeter College, like the rugby wise, I can take into Chiefs. It's it's pretty much exactly the same. So uh, the the way we play is literally kind of copied from the Chiefs. So it's amazing. You can one minute be training at Exeter College and you could pretty much filter into the to the Chiefs side just because how how amazing it is that it's all linked. Uh, so we can go through doing sets and stuff like that we do at Exeter College. We can just literally take through into first team here so it it's fully linked and the the coaches know exactly what the first team coaches want so 
when you're reviewing a game, if I reviewed it with a, it's a Sam, when I re review a game of Sam, then if I reviewed a game of Rob Hunter, the first team coach here, it would pretty much be ex exactly the same because the coaches know exactly what they what the first team coaches want. So you're literally getting all the information from here, but at Exeter College, so it's amazing. See, with the, the 20s that I'm doing now, I don't think I was really at college when I did it. See, I was, I was lucky enough that I'd done I was able to do a year group below, so like, not many people go from like being under. Like, I think I was. I, I done before I played under 18s England. I played for the under 20s, so that was when I was still at college. So uh, with the under 20s, it's a bit different because uh, you spend a whole uh, weeks away. So making sure I was balancing my uh, my work with the 20s that that was pretty tough. So the main thing is making sure that you get your work done first because like. If you, I was I was lucky enough to go away with the with the twenties. So, so to be able to go away with the twenties, and you don't want to be kind of caught up at work because that's when that's when you start to get bogged down, and then you'll be real struggling to to improve. So making sure you get your work done first because you don't know when like games are going to come up or opportunities are going to come up. You can't you don't want to miss out on those opportunities because you have to do your work because you, like, rugby can end in like a split second. So you've got to make sure you have your work done at the same time. So to have your work done is key to then be able to push on with rugby. So if I had to give any advice to my younger self or anyone else that's trying to get into Premiership Rugby, it's definitely a real push of things, a real push to get your work done. Because even though that, uh, so last year I had to redo redo my GCSE English, and uh, I'd done it, and I didn't think it was a big big part at Chiefs at all. But I had some of the coaches telling me, "Well done for being persistent with it, and making sure that I'd done it and nailed it that way." So that that there shows that if you can work hard. So it took me, I think it took me two two years extra to do my English. It shows you got that. Persistence to keep going, same on the rugby field. Persistence to keep working hard, like hitting defenders back, scrummaging, it kind of it all kind of links together. So just make sure you work hard at everything you do. We're all putting the meters and putting the effort and you should you 100 percent get the rewards. <laughs> <laughs>